Welcome to this video on using the Banana Box DAW plugin with Nuendo. With Banana Box 2019 for Windows, we've introduced a plugin that allows you to use all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Banana Box right inside your favorite DAW without running the Banana Box application. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Banana Box and installs with the main program. In this video, we're going to look at the various ways you can use this amazing plugin in Nuendo. If you use a different DAW, we have other videos that cover DAWs such as Reaper, Pro Tools, Cakewalk, Studio One, and many more. First, we'll look at an easy way to get started with the plugin. Then we'll look at different ways you can use the plugin. Throughout the video, I'm going to use a variety of different Bound in the Box styles. Whether you're into jazz, rock, country, R&B, or any styles you can think of, there's something for you in Bound in a Box. Right now we're listening to some great funk tracks that we created with the plugin and dropped into Nuendo. Everything that you're hearing in Nuendo was created by the Band in a Box plugin by typing in these chords. You can enter any chords in any key. Then we picked this funk style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time to show you how we got these great sounding tracks. Let's start with a blank Nuendo project. To open the Band in a Box plugin, locate the VST Instruments tab in the right zone and click on Rack. Now select Band in a Box DAW VST3 plugin from the list. This is the Band in a Box plugin. It's sizable, so I'll make it bigger. Here's a chord chart waiting for us to input some chords. This area here is for the different instruments in the style, and it's currently blank because we don't have a style loaded. Here's where you can pick a style. Here you can set various musical elements such as the key, time signature, tempo, etc. There's a spot for a song title, and various menus we'll look at later. In order to get some tracks, we need to pick a style and enter some chords, not necessarily in that order. So I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of A, and I'll start by entering some chords. A7 at bar 1, and I'll leave that for 4 bars, then C7 sus at bar 5, and D7 at bar 7. I'll use a handy shortcut K8 to copy the last 8 bars. I'll also add a part marker at bar 9 to outline the form of the song, and that means that the drums will play a fill in the bar right before the part marker. At bar 17 I'll add a part marker as well, but I'll click a second time to make it a B part marker, which means the drums and sometimes other instruments will change what they're playing at that part. And I'll enter B minor, then E minor at bar 19, B minor at bar 21 again, and then E7 at bar 23. Perfect. And I'll change some of the elements up here. I'll make the end bar 24, end on an A chord, and I'll change the choruses to 4, so this entire thing will repeat 4 times. Now we can select a style either by clicking in the Select a Style area, or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. Here is the list of all of the Bound in a Box styles available. There are over 6,000 to choose from. You can double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it will sound like. I'll filter by jazz styles and sample some of them. Switch to rock styles.
And now we'll listen to some country styles. I entered would work well with a funk style, so I'll filter by that. this fetchin style. You'll notice that there is a column for the ideal tempo of the style, which for this one is 110 beats per minute. That doesn't mean you have to use it at that tempo, but you'll get the best results if it's close to that. I'll pick this fetchin style. There's a tap tempo feature in Nuendo that I'll use by going to Project, Beat Calculator, Tap Tempo. I'll tap my spacebar to get the tempo that I want. Then I'll press this button to apply it to my project. I need to update the tempo in the plugin too, so I'll do that now. Now we're ready to generate the parts. There are some custom generation options in this menu, but I just want all of the tracks generated normally, so I'll press the top Generate button. You'll notice that there are some empty green squares and a single empty blue square. Those squares will be filled in when the tracks are ready. The generation takes a little while, so we'll skip ahead in the video. We can drag the tracks into the DAW individually like this, but I'll undo that. I'd rather import them as a group by dragging the blue icon. And now we have these tracks right in our DAW. The chord chart highlights the currently playing bar during playback, which is very useful if you want to record your own tracks on top of this. You can now mix the tracks, add effects like reverb, or anything you like. And, as with all real tracks and real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes, these are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. This particular style has a bass part by Alex Al, one of the most sought-after bass players in LA, who played in Michael Jackson's band for over 10 years and has also played with the likes of Stevie Wonder, Sting, and many more. On guitar is Bob Lanzetti, electric piano is covered by Jeff Lorber, and drums are played by Spud Seawright. I'll do a few more quick examples like this with a few different styles, so you can get a sense of the scope of what you can do with the Band in a Box plugin. Here I'm typing in some chords like I did before, but this time I'll pick a hard rock style. I'll set the tempo and generate the tracks. Then I'll just drag them in, and I've got some great hard rock tracks in my project. And I'll do the same thing again, typing in some chords, picking a bluegrass style, and generating the tracks. Then I drag them in when they're complete, and I've got some great bluegrass tracks in my project. In addition to typing in the chords, you can open actual Bound in a Box files. These could be files that you've created right in the Band in a Box app, files that other people have sent you, 
or even the demos that come with Band in a Box. I'll open a Band in a Box song file that features a bluesy Americana style with a resonator guitar by Eddie Dunlap, who has backed up artists like Clay Walker, T-Bone Burnett, and Mo Pitney. So now we have the entire thing entered for us, the chord progression, key, form, etc. All we have to do is generate the tracks and drag them in. Just like that, you have a great Americana style with Eddie Dunlap playing over the changes. You can also save anything that you enter here as a band in a box file. One more quick demo. I'll open another file. Let's check out the demo for a rumba style. The style in this song features the legendary Alex Acuna on drums, as well as the amazing Ramon Stagnero on guitar. I'll generate, drag the tracks in, and here it is playing. Thanks for watching this tutorial on using Nuendo with the Banana Box plugin. There will be more video to come soon.